Okay, so Marilyn Monroe, she was a foster kid and she had a psychiatrist. And one day Marilyn Monroe was on TV and she was flirting with a bunch of military men. And so when she goes in to see the psychiatrist, the psychiatrist says, hey, why are you doing this? You know, your behavior shouldn't be like that, it's wrong. And Marilyn Monroe goes into a story about when she was a kid and her foster mother would tell her to call her auntie. So she would always wonder why, you know, everybody has a mom but her. And then she came to the conclusion that maybe she belongs to the world, that she belongs to the world. She must belong to the world because she doesn't have a mother. And what I got out of that is like, maybe a people's social behaviors that seem wrong or out of place, must come from a deep root of pain, like a, a, a you know, dark place in their life or in their heart from their childhood, most likely. Okay, so Marilyn Monroe, she was a foster kid. She, um, had a psychiatrist, and one day the psychiatrist saw on TV, you know, flirting with a bunch of military men, and you know, her dress was up, and doing a bunch of crazy stuff that, she, that the psychiatrist felt she shouldn't be doing. So when she goes in to see the psychiatrist, she says, you know, what's up, well, what's wrong with you? She didn't say what's up, but you know what I mean. And, and Marilyn Monroe goes on to a story about when she's a kid, and she wanted to call her foster uh, mom, mother, mom. and. The mother would say, no, don't call me that. Call me auntie. I'm not your mother. And so she noticed that everybody had a mom, but she couldn't call, but she didn't have a mom. So she said that she felt like, like then she must belong to the world. And what I got out of that is that maybe everybody's behavior that seems a little off or, or like strange, like why are they acting like that? It, most of the behavior must come from some deep root of pain.